Well, turkey might be the Thanksgiving tradition on Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have probably had about all you can handle. Well, we've got good news. Joining me is Better Homes and Gardens Senior Deputy Food Editor, Nancy Hopkins, and she has got some great leftover turkey recipes for us all to gobble on. Hi, Nancy. Uh, thank you for having me. Have I got turkey ideas for you? There is always so, so much excited. leftover food, and we don't know what to do with it. We don't want to waste it, So, but you're giving us ideas how to make it totally original. Let's do it. So first, we're going to make a frittata, a turkey frittata. You can serve it hot or cold. Everyone loves a frittata. And you can put just about anything in it. Anything, but look at all my leftovers here. I've Love got it. Brussels sprouts, I've got some carrots, squash, the onions, and the star of the frittata. <laughs> the turkey. The turkey. Yeah, huh? That's what we've got. So I've got some butter going, about two tablespoons, so we're just going to add them in. And really, since they're leftovers, we're not really going to cook them. Right, we're they've been gonna, cooked. We're just kind of heating them up, we're right? We're kind of warming them through. Got the squash. So now good. again, the turkey. Oh, the turkey. Beautiful white it's meat. It's about a cup of turkey, but you can tear it, chunk it, whatever you like. Okay. I'm just going to swish it around. Okay. We've All got right. five eggs in here. Okay. We need three more, so Can't get cracking. Right. Literally, get cracking. Get cracking. Some salt One. and pepper. I'm going to salt. We're doing this together. Here's the salt. Same on herbs. You can use any herb. So we've got sage and thyme, but you can use any herb. You yeah. know how you always have those like little you bits do. and pieces? I'm always sweeping them off the cutting board into the trash yeah. at the end, but don't need to do Save that. Save them. About Save a them. tablespoon. I like things pretty zesty, so, you know, two. And then cream or milk. Okay. It's about a half cup. So we're just going to whisk that together, All get right. it zhuzh, just till that you can't see the whole eggs in there. Right. If you like it really decadent, you can use heavy cream. Yeah, well, I do. I know. After Thanksgiving, <laughs> I mean, you've already done the dirty work, so why not eat why more, Why not? The right? diet's over. Yeah, the, the diet's, diet's over. over. Forget it, people. Okay, that's looking pretty great there. Right. I'm just going to pour it over. Now, how simple. Oh, I mean, that it's looks so good. Stress free. And this is nice because you can make it ahead. You can make it ahead, as you said. You can serve it cold. Yeah, and you just want to push it around, get those vegetables, so people don't have to fight over a bite of vegetable. Oh, no doubt. And then you're just going to cook it on medium until it starts to set. Now, have you done a frittata before? My wife does frittatas all the time, so I've I've witnessed the doing of a frittata, but I haven't done it myself. Well, so the trick, you just sort of let them start, and then when you can see, and that's not happening yet, but when they start cooking, right. then you lift the cook part and ah, let the runny, the runny part get down there and cook. Get down there and cook. And so the whole thing takes about eight to ten minutes. We have we do TV a magic. beauty. TV magic. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And yeah. browned on top. Well, and what we did, so you're going to add about a half cup, again, I go a little heavy, parm and white cheddar. And that's what we've done here. Well, you can't go wrong with All the All melty, yeah. warm, amazing on the Delicious. cooked one. And, and stays good. So you guys, you said breakfast, lunch, loads Everything. of options. People love for talking. Before we go to trips. break, you've got to, tell me, you've got to tell me what this beautiful monstrosity is, because I could eat that all day long. <laughs> this is what we call turkey nacho casserole. You've got the tortillas on the bottom. Right. Turkey mixed with sour cream, salsa, corn, all these yummy, yummy things. More chips more cheese, but you bake it together, 350 for about 20 minutes. It's easy. It's almost like a layer, it's almost like a layer casserole kind it's of thing over there. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, this. Yes. Have you ever had chicken and waffles? I have had chicken and yeah, waffles, yeah. really popular. What we did, trade the chicken for turkey, make this creamy mm, topper with the turkey, and we've got some veggies in there, and then guess what you use on top? Uh, I'm thinking the cranberry sauce. The cranberry sauce. So we're just going to put Whoa, a little dollop can you imagine? of the cranberry sauce, and it's sort of this sweet and savory treat. And it's it goes beautiful, on and we're not wasting waffles, food. Leftover turkey. Perfect. Absolutely perfect.